Peelers and cutters and wedgers, oh my. What do you do with them? Well, let me show you. The right tool for the right job makes all the difference in the world. So let's start off with, oh, okay, this one's been around the longest. This one's called the veggie peeler. Now you may notice this is the same type of uh, cutter that we've had for many years. It's good for lefties or righties. About four years ago, the handle got a little nicer, so now it's more ergonomic. So this is what you're going to use to peel your carrots, your potatoes, all that kind of stuff. Notice I can go up and down. It's good for lefties or righties. Okay, just that easy. Now, the next step you could do with your carrot, if you needed this like for a good salad, is you could julienne it. So notice the uh, cap because this thing is very sharp. So this is the julienne peeler. And this is going to give you those matchstick pieces. So just hold it down and go down. Keep going. Slide it off. And I'll do one more. And what you can do is actually rotate your carrot to the other side. You're going to end up with a little bit of a nub at the very end. Just peel that off and eat it. And then, let me take this one step further. Once you're done, take your knife. Oops. Get the knife. Great for spring rolls or salads. Go back and slice it backwards with your knife. And you'll see you've got these amazing little julienne slices. Okay, just like that. So there we go. Veggie peeler, potatoes, all that good stuff. Julienne peeler, spring rolls, salads, stir fries maybe. Really pretty in salads too. Um, you can do uh, cucumbers, you can do zucchini. It's probably all I've tried with the, with the uh, zester, so, or, I'm sorry, the uh, julienne so far. Okay, something else on here. <clears throat> serrated peeler. Now this would also work on your carrots. This will work on your potatoes. The fabulous thing about it is, um, it, again, it's good for lefties or righties, but it's got a serrated blade both on the top and the bottom. And it swivels. So this is great for your soft stuff, like a kiwi. Check this out. Mango. Peach. Um, tomato. Yeah, you can actually peel a tomato if you had to. We tried it once before. Um, nectarines, uh, peach, all that kind of stuff where the, the fruit is very soft and so your blade must be serrated so that it doesn't completely collapse it and make a big mess. Okay, we got one more slice right there. There we go. Kiwi, Kiwi peeled, serrated peeler. Makes all the difference in the world for that one. Okay, but I got more toys. Let's see what's next. Um, next I have, oh, this one is the lemon zester and score. So this would be when you're having that martini and you need a twisted lemon or lime. Right here, again, good for lefties or righties. Peel up. And here, oh, that smells so good. You probably could see on camera that stuff just oozing out. So there's your little twist. Okay, if you want to get really silly and decorative, you could tie them in bows and put them in your ice cubes and freeze them. Martha Stewart. Um, but there you go. That's how to get the nice... Um, score. And then there's also a um, zesting side right here, and that's these little blades. It's going to give you kind of a big zest. You do it just like that. Okay. If you didn't have one of our other zesters and you needed it finer, then you could just go back and cut it down to whatever you need. It stopped recording. I thought I heard it, yeah. You start up again? Mm -mm. And then um, the other one I'm going to show off here is the grapefruit knife. Grapefruits are really good right now. So this one also has a sheath. Okay, so that goes right there. Take that off. So Costco, man, I've been eating these one a day, if not two. First, what you're going to do is cut down it all the way through. Again, this has the serrated blade, so it's going to work very nicely on something that's soft. Next thing I do is I go around. And cut to the outside of the grapefruit. All the way. And then you're going to go back and go in between the skin. So right here, the membrane, excuse me. Keep going. Now I'll tell you, these grapefruits are actually not um, bitter at all. So even if you eat a little bit of the skin, it's not bad. I've had some where it's really bad if you grab onto the skin. And you just go through. Uh, it's a little time consuming. It's worth it, man. This grapefruit is amazing. 
And so once you're done, what you'll see is I usually eat it with a fork, but you have pieces just like that to eat. Now, before I start eating, let me show you one other tool that's up here. And that's the avocado peeler. Okay. Now, a good thing with this one here is, you know, when we're cutting avocados, a lot of time we'll do it in our hands. And if you've got a sharp knife, it's kind of dangerous. Don't do it. So this one has a little um, flip at the end. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the, oh, hey, did you guys know this? When you take out that little core in the end of the avocado, that's going to show you if it's ripe or not. If it's too hard in there, it's, well, you can usually feel that by the skin. But if it's real brown in there, that means it's overripe. So don't keep it. Don't bite it. Um, next, here we go. Avocado knife. Go in. And I usually go all the way around. Twist it off. Now, to get this out, to get the seed out, just kind of go underneath here. You know, this is where it was attached. So you just kind of want to move it around there. And then you should be able to flip out the seed. Okay, just like that. Go back in here. Again, having the knife, we've done this. I've done this in my hands. It's very dangerous. Just go back and slice it however you'd like it. Want to make little chunks for a salad. Go on underneath. There you go. 